People wonder a lot about my perception of things that sighted people see all the time. You know, big giant things that I probably couldn't even get my head around. The sun, maybe. Like the sun, I understand, is what, 93 million miles away from Earth, right? You know? First off, I can't imagine 93 million of anything. And it's funny, like a cloud could come and block it. <laughs> you know, just in your backyard or wherever you are. But how come nothing's ever come between it and the planet? Wouldn't that be the easiest thing in the world? I guess it's like a ball, right? It's like a big, what, like a yellow ball of fire? Or a red ball? I don't know. What color is the sun? <laughs> Same color as the daughter. <laughs> so like sunrise or sunset, I can sort of feel the sun start to hit me and start to be warm again. But like, that's it. And conversely, at the end of the day, I can feel it go away. But people say it's so beautiful. You can see all these colors and I don't even know what. See, there's all these things like that I know about, but I just don't know what they are. Like space. A teacher once taught me that the universe, let's just say like you take a big, like a wall and just put a dot any way you like in that wall. And that's what our galaxy is. So that's how giant, the, so that's how I have an idea of the universe and it's, its size and its vastness and all that. And how small this whole thing really is, all these nine planets. It, it's funny, right? Something that I enjoy so much, I don't even know like what it is or what it looks like. The Grand Canyon. I mean, here's, isn't it just a big hole? A big, like a big long hole, right? That's like a mile deep. That's it, right? <laughs> but people love looking in a hole. I don't get it. Sight must be fun. Like depth perception. You could look down from the Empire State Building and go, wow, we, that's a long way down. Where for me, you know, if we went up and down in the, like, if, you know, went on a circuitous route to the top, I might not never realize we were at the tippy top. You know what I mean? I don't know that I'm afraid of heights, but I'm afraid of falling. Right? Because I don't know how far I have to fall. So if I was going to jump off like a four foot wall, I'd rather lower myself down than jump because I don't know where the ground's going to be. I guess the sky to me is really just this big wide open thing with nothing in your way at all. You know, as long as you're above all the trees and the buildings and stuff, there's nothing blocking you. You could just go and go and go and go and go. It'd be fun. I need a place like that here on Earth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the beach was always fun for that. Because I could just run and run and run and run and run and there was nothing in the way. And I could just, you know, know that I was safe to just let it rip as a kid. And the horizon. I mean, I, like, I guess I get it. But, all right, so what is it? It's this thing that at the end of the day, you see the sun, I guess, go under. Right? Is that how it works? So the sun lowers in the sky, lowers, 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 colors, nice, everything good. And you can see the horizon and the sun goes behind that or below that. And then does the horizon disappear? It's gone, right? Because there's no light anymore. The moon and stars over the horizon too. Fog must be cool. Fog must be the, oh man. Cause so you're driving down the highway, right? And all of a sudden, your visibility goes poof, gone. And there's a giant bank of fog and you can't see 100 feet in front of you. Wow. Just shuts it all down, doesn't it? People always say in the fog, you know, I bet you could drive out here, Tommy. You do just as well as us. The Great Wall of China. Now here's the thing they say is visible from space. Why? I mean, I guess, well, cause it's so long, right? Long to me is an episode of Friends. 